Now, the Australian Bureau of Statistics serves a very useful purpose, but the way it collects information has upset some Brisbane residents. They're shocked at the questions being asked, but what happens when they refuse to answer is unbelievable. Lisa Goddard has more. It is a huge intrusion. Um, I feel violated. In a democratic society, it's completely outrageous. One knock on your door. How can I help you? And your private life is government property. They can ask me anything they want. There's no limit. But Chris Leroy says this time the Australian Bureau of Statistics has picked the wrong guy. Chris says he'll go to jail rather than answer intrusive questions about his sex life and when or if his partner will be home alone. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to sit here and be bullied into giving information when it just doesn't seem right. Chris was minding his own business at home on a Saturday when an ABS field officer landed on his doorstep, telling him he'd been randomly selected for an eight-month-long survey. He said, well, basically, if I don't answer those questions now, uh, that I'd be summarily charged by the Australian statistician, I'd be brought before the federal court, and if found guilty, I'll actually be going to jail. Worried he was being conned, he hit the internet, only to learn he's far from alone. So, Chris, there's been a lot of comment on this online. Yeah, absolutely. Give, give me some examples. Well, we had one gentleman who actually said he'd been through the same experience and he had actually written, we had the field officer repeatedly ask us for details of my wife's sex life and past relationships. We too were threatened with both criminal charges and court action. People should not be compelled or coerced, uh, let alone threatened or fined for not complying with what's supposed to be a random survey. Former Senator Natasha Stott-Despoyer knows it happens it happened to her mum. My mum's case was incredibly rare that she was successful and that they left her alone. Shirley's Dr Spoyer took the ABS on in court after she refused to answer questions about smoking as part of a seven-month survey. She won, but only on a technicality. I don't rate the average person's chance of beating the ABS and I think any institution in this day and age that relies on coercion or threats is not only outdated, it's outrageous. To persecute people on those issues seems extraordinarily undemocratic. And extraordinarily costly. Every day that goes by that you don't answer their questions, you could be fined $170. Last financial year, the ABS took action against nearly 1,500 Australians. 94 cases were referred to the Director of Public Prosecutions. The frightening part about all of this is none of us are safe. The ABS selects 350,000 homes and businesses each year. And if you're targeted, the only subject you can legally refuse to answer questions on is religion. When Natasha Stott-Despoyer's mother's case hit the headlines, politicians tried and failed to change the law. I understand the value of statistics. I also understand the importance of random selection for surveys. But where there are people who feel uncomfortable, philosophically or otherwise, please leave them alone. I'm an Australian citizen. I'm a shareholder in this country. This isn't right. We've got to change this. We've got to protect our people. Chris now lives waiting for the next unwelcome knock on his door. I'm waiting for the letter to say, OK, well, we're going to charge you and we're going to take you to the next level. Because there's no way I'm answering those questions.